Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking all about Dorothy Dandridge and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura. This is a channel where I talk about all things vintage, beauty, and fashion. So if you love those things, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. Also, I started a new Instagram account for this channel. It's called Dahlia's in the Attic. I would love it if you could also follow me on there. I'll link that below. I have been loving all of the messages you guys have been sending me, so please feel free to message me anytime. All right, let's jump right in and talk about Dorothy Dandridge and her favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. I really enjoyed researching Dorothy Dandridge for this video, but it also it was kind of sad. Her story is quite tragic. Um, she died of a drug overdose at a very young age and it just made me really sad doing all this research but there's so much to celebrate and she was so beautiful and so talented and she really paved the way for african-american actresses of the future so there's so much to celebrate with dorothy danbridge and i want to celebrate you know her beauty and just her favorite beauty products and her perfume and just so many wonderful things to talk about dorothy danbridge was born on November 9th, 1922, and died tragically on September 8th, 1965. She was an American film actress as well as a singer and a dancer, and she was actually nominated for a Best Actress Performance Academy Award in 1954 for the film Carmen Jones, and she was the first African-American female to be nominated for the Best Actress Award, and that year she was nominated alongside Grace Kelly as well as Audrey Hepburn. The Dandridge wore the perfume Taboo by Dana, and this perfume was created in 1931 in Barcelona. I didn't realize how old Taboo was. I quite like the bottle shape. Um, it has a dark, beautiful color, so I'm going to spray it and see what it smells like. It kind of falls along the line of like a darker, heavier vintage fragrance, kind of similar to like a Youth Do or Chanel. I quite like it though. It has kind of like a spicy note to it. It smells quite good quality. I'm really curious to research more fragrances by Dana since it is quite a vintage brand and I don't know, I found that very interesting that she wore this fragrance. It's very beautiful actually. I quite like how it settles in. So this is the first beauty product that Dorothy Dandridge wore. I was researching different beauty brands that were available during the time of Dorothy Dandridge's popularity and I found that Posner Makeup was a brand targeted towards African American women at the time and they had like darker shades for their skin tone. So I figured there was a, probably a good chance that Dorothy may have worn um, Posner makeup. So here's a little bit of a history of Posner makeup. So Posner Cosmetics was introduced in the 1940s as a full line of fashionable, wearable, moderately priced cosmetics that offered African American women a wide array of cosmetic colors to match, complement, and enhance their skin tones. I never really heard much about this brand, but I loved looking at all the vintage ads, and it was so interesting because I just was like starting to Google. Just different vintage ads from the time period and then googling Dorothy Dandridge and just kind of discovering all these unique ads and brands and Posner makeup is definitely an older brand. It was really interesting to find out about it um, and just the history behind it. So I don't know 100% if she wore it but I think there probably is a good chance that she may have worn some of the cosmetics from the Posner line. I also discovered another vintage cosmetic company called Lucky Heart Cosmetics, and this one is based out of Memphis, Tennessee. So it start, Lucky Heart Cosmetics started in, in 1935, and they kind of their, they started manufacturing cosmetics and beauty products for African American women. And they take pride in being the, one of the first companies to fulfill those needs. And I thought that was really interesting. So there's a chance Dorothy did wear and use some of these products. I went online and bought a few products that looked interesting to me. Um, first of all, I wanted to try the Touch of Fire perfume. This is a classic scent that is one of the first products um, that Lucky Heart Cosmetics started. So it's like a warm, deep smelling perfume. It's one of their best selling fragrances and I love the vintage logo too. So I'm going to roll it on now and smell it. It definitely has 
it's kind of a fresh smell. I thought it would be a little bit deeper, but it's very nice and fresh. I quite like it actually. It'll be interesting to see how it sells. It's like a very nice, fresh, kind of soapy fragrance, but it definitely has a vintage smell to it. So this is Touch of Fire by Lucky Heart Cosmetics. Picked up a lemon ice toner. I thought this was interesting. The lemon ice toner is used to, as kind of an astrogen and it removes impurities and keeps your skin radiant um, and helps with like a nice healthy glow. So I'm excited to try this one as well. And I also love the packaging. It kind of has that vintage look to it. I want to try the Bright and Clear Beauty Bar. Beauty Bar you can use as a face wash and it's supposed to remove impurities and keep your skin like bright and clean and just removes all the dirt and keeps your skin tone nice and bright. But not least is the Lemon Vanishing Cream. I wanted to try this because I love vanishing creams. This one, however, is used more as a makeup remover, so it's kind of like a cold cream, but I really like the thick texture to it and the kind of lemon smell and the kind of off white yellow color. And I think this will be really good at removing makeup. And these are all classic products that they have had since the 30s. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you seen any of Dorothy Dandridge's movies? And are you a fan of her? Alright, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye!